This trick starts um, pretty much the same way as the one before, only that in uh, this trick the dog is not in down position, but in a position with front paws on his drum. <laughs> so find the appropriate object, not too high, not too low, not too small. And uh, first just shape front feet on, again shouldn't be a problem for dogs who already know to interact with objects, that's usually the, <laughs> the first thing they try. Uh, you can first click for just touching it with one paw and then it shouldn't take long before you get both, both feet on. Um, and then again you just watch the front feet, click for any movement. And then, when the dog knows it's about moving front feet, try to shape for higher and higher legs. And in order for the dog to be able to, um, to have them higher and higher, it's also very important that the weight is shifted back. So that the dog is not leaning on his front feet, but shift weight back to the hind feet. And then front feet are more, are more free to do the drumming part. So, um, to get this, try to reward low. I'm usually rewarding on a drum as such. Um, click for shifting the weight back and for higher and higher legs. And that's pretty much all. Then you just need to add um, duration, that's all. Um, another thing to be careful when teaching this trick is to not click the scratching. That was my major mistake with uh, with Boo when I started to, to teach this trick. Um, I clicked for any movement of front feet, even scratching. And now we are still trying to get rid of it. You can see in this video I'm trying not to click the scratching, only when moving the feet. But uh, it will be a long process because um, she's already so much into this scratching thing. So don't forget to not click the stretching, but only movements up and down with, with front feet.